Hello friends, welcome to the introductory lecture on Faraday's law. Before going any further, let us first know who was Faraday. Faraday was an English scientist who majorly contributed to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry. Faraday also established that the magnetism could affect the ray of light. Before understanding what is Faraday's law, let us first understand what is time varying currents. Time varying currents are those which changes, we can say varies, with time. For example, sinusoidal currents, square wave currents, triangular wave currents and many more. This idea can be extended for the fields. That is, the electric and magnetic field now with a function of space and time both. Now we are ready to understand the work of Faraday. Faraday performed an experiment in which he took a hollow cylindrical, uh, cylindrical object onto which he wound a copper wire as shown. The two ends of the copper wire are connected to galvanometer which deflects when the current is flown through it. Then Faraday brought a bar magnet near to this apparatus. He observed that the change in magnetic field produces deflection in the galvanometer. After this, he repeated the experiment by keeping the magnet stationary. He observed that the galvanometer does not show any deflection if the bar magnet is stationary. From this Faraday concluded, which emerged as a law, that the induced voltage or induced EMF is equal to N d phi m by dt, where phi m is the magnetic flux, d by dt is the time rate change and n is the number of loops in the coil. Note here a negative sign is introduced which indicates that the current produced by this process opposite its opposite its cause which produces it. This is conservation of energy. Further, if we consider for a single turn coil that is n is equal to 1, then V EMF will be equal to minus d phi m by dt. But we know that voltage is line integral E bar dot dl bar and the flux is surface integral of flux density B bar dot ds bar. Therefore, we can write now line integral E bar dot dl bar is equal to d by dt of B bar dot ds bar. This shows a relation between a magnetic field and the electric field. From the previous slide, we can say that V EMF can be induced either by changing the magnetic field or by changing the loop area based on which there are basic three cases that we can develop. And based on these three cases, many heavy electrical appliances works. For case one, which is called as a transformer EMF, in this, the magnetic field is varied while the loop is kept stationary. Case two is called as the motional EMF. In this, the field is stationary while the loop is varied or the loop is moving. Case three is the combination of both the cases. Case 1 is used in transformers, whereas case 2 is used for motors and generators. Thank you. I hope you have understood.